Hey guys, Brad Duct Tape Hale here, and I don't normally do uh, leak videos like this, but I found some interesting information that I thought would be um, fun to share. Uh, there are certain things I'm going to omit and not share because I feel that, that you know stuff like that shouldn't really be out on the market this way early, like several years before it should even be announced. But uh, long story short, uh, one thing I found was very interesting was for uh, information on Resident Evil 4 and uh, Resident Evil 8. Uh, one thing in particular is, uh, as you can see right here, Resident Evil 4 VR, and I'm very curious to see how this actually plays out. I mean, it's probably going to be much like half these other games where it's VR. It's a much shorter or condensed or dumbed down version. We all have VR aspects you can go through, like the Half-Life one or and other things like that, or VR Skyrim or VR Doom. Uh, I'm very interested to see how that's going to turn out, but my main point of this is going to be the whole uh, Resident Evil 8 information that dropped today. Um, Resident Evil 8, uh, let's see, Stadia paid uh, Capcom $10 million US dollars to put Resident Evil 7 or RE8 on the platform. I don't know what that's going to do for the gaming market or whatnot, because Stadia is uh, laughable at best right now. But Sony did pay $5 million for a specific VR timed DLC demo exclusivity. So uh, that means that a demo is possibility on the market coming up soon and uh, there might be some specific DLC things that uh, the PS5 gets only. So I'm very interested to see how that's gonna go. Next up, another thing I wanted to point out for Resident Evil 8 is the uh, package of which you can pre-order it and whatnot. Um, one of the interesting things that I saw with the package is that uh, like how Resident Evil 2 Remake and RE3 Remake uh, there's going to be a special edition that you can pre-order. Now there's going to be like a regular game copy, there's going to be a game copy with some probably some DLC, but the one thing I noticed here is that there are special editions that look like there is going to be uh, two different versions. So like again, the regular is just going to be the game as is, then you're going to have the one with the game plus the DLC pack. Then there's going to be the Collector's Edition. It looks like there's going to be two versions. It looks like there's going to be one that's going to be like the full box, the, I'm assuming a Chris Redfield statue, the game, probably Steelbox Edition, and then a bunch of, uh, I mean, I, I can't tell what this is. Uh, it's probably going to be like a special case in there or like an art book or anything like that. Uh, the one for RE3 wasn't too bad. Um, the one I'm probably going to go for is probably going to be the cheaper one. And it's showing that it's going to be uh, 189,000 uh, yen, um, which I'm assuming might be uh, 180 to 200 dollar American dollars. It depends. Uh, it's going to be a Chris Redfield statue. It's going to be the case. Uh, now this is interesting too. Uh, one of the things it's coming with, and what's nice is with the, um, the the Leon Kennedy and the Jill Valentine statue, is they had removable weapons or whatnot. Now they didn't come with any extra. Now, you can use 12-inch doll weapons to replace, or if you want to add or modify them. And it looks like it comes with a uh, the weapons case of weapons you get to use in the game. So it looks like you have like a assault rifle, a shotgun, a revolver. Uh, it looks like a figurine, a health potion, some kind of coin, sniper rifle, and maybe even it looks like an M79 grenade launcher. So it's just showing you like these are doll size uh, items that can be switched out, possibly with Chris Redfield or with Ethan. But, um, yeah, it's just it's just different combo combo packs and whatnot, which I'm very excited. It even shows here, like, the super special edition is, like, $220. So, uh, who knows? We'll figure out there. But it did mention that uh, some of these are going to be pre-order um, releasing about January 2021. So, I'm very interested to see where this is going to go. Uh, there's plenty of other things that dropped today that I am not going to discuss because those are things that really shouldn't be out on the market. But this is stuff that probably was going to be out in the next week or so. So who knows? Maybe this will help. Maybe whatnot. Uh, maybe December will bring us um, RE8 demo or whatnot. Never know. Christmas, Christmas baby. We're going to figure out what's actually going on with Chris Redfield and Ethan. So guys, remember like always, be like duct tape. Stick to it. Bye-bye.